ministry. Like I said, like it was, it was a big push to, uh, for for Christ to do something, uh, to, not to do something, but to really impart into the people's lives to, to speak to them. Then we go to Wednesday. Now Wednesday, you know, it's not really recorded what happened. Now Wednesday doesn't really have a day of what took place or what happened, but we know something must have happened. Praise God, right? You know, as he spoke and he shared, and it just it just wasn't recorded. And so, uh, but how many know, maybe it was a day of fasting, maybe it was a day of prayer, maybe it was a day of uh, recuperating, maybe it was a day of, uh, you know, he maybe he just pulled the 12 aside and just to sit there and talk with them and share with them, you know, hey, man, today's Wednesday, Friday, man, I'm on the, I'm on the cross, right? And so who knows what took place Wednesday, but, you know, you know, we know something happened. And so maybe it was just a day, him and the Father, Maybe he was talking to the Lord and just, you know, I need to get away from everybody. I've been pouring out, pouring out, pouring out. A day of refreshing for him. Who knows? But it was something took place. And so, but God is good. And this so then we go to day five, which was on a Thursday. This is where he washed their feet and passed over the Last Supper and all that. It took place on, on, a, on a Thursday. And then, of course, we come to Friday. He goes to uh, 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 the cross, right? The Good Friday takes place. You know, the death, burial, the, everything, the trial of Friday, Saturday, he's in the tomb, right? He's in the tomb. The people are crying, weeping, you know, with his loved ones, thinking that was it, that it's over, that nothing else is going to happen. And, you know, the devil won. Come on up. People are thinking uh, the, 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 the enemy is rejoicing and celebrating, laughing. Ha, ha, ha. Nothing happened. But then come on up. Then it came Sunday. Nice. Right? Then it came nice. Sunday. Nice. Praise the Lord. Resurrection Sunday. Nice. And boom. Next thing you know, that's what we're celebrating. You know, we're celebrating Resurrection Sunday and just to Amen. celebrate the goodness of God. And remember, remember, we're dying to live. Amen. We're dying to live. So that we can die to our flesh so we can live for the Lord. See, we're, we all got issues. We all got problems. We all got all these things going on. But the question, I guess, the question, because remember when Jesus went to heal somebody or a couple times he went to heal somebody, he says, do you want to get well? He's asking them a question. Do you want to get well? Because not everybody wants to get well. So he's asking the person, he goes, I'm not, he's, a, he's not like walking up the road, I'm going to make you better. No. no, I'm asking, do you want to get well? Because not everybody wants to. And so the same with you and I. The question gets thrown out to us. You know, do you want to get well? Do you want to Do you want something? Do you want a, 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 a refiring of something in your life? Do you want that refiring of, of uh, uh, something that happened in your life to take place in your life. You know, uh, as we speak about going, we speak about, you know, stepping out of faith, we speak about, you know, I, I, I trip out when I think about how, you know, I, I, I don't know what it was. It was just you know, the, the hand of God, I guess, because when the call of God came in my life, I remember just, okay, I'm gone, I'm out of here. To go on a missionary trip, to leave my job, to leave everything behind, to take off for a year, to who knows where, where are you coming back? I don't know, where are you going to live when you come back? I don't know, what are you going to do when you come back? I don't know. All I know is that's a year from now, but right now I'm gone. And to pack up and leave and go, like I said, it wasn't like, I don't know, it was just, bye, no problem. But do you, I guess that's the only thing I can ask, is there something in your life, maybe you want to fire at one time? Maybe you felt, man, God wants to do this. Maybe you were in love with the Lord one time and man, I'll do anything for the Lord. Now, man, you, okay, you come to church early. Oh. <laughs> what happened? You said you'd do anything for the Lord. You know? But now, oh my gosh, you want, oh my gosh, oh my, oh my God. You know, do we forget? Did the love, did that area grow cold in your life? Maybe you had a hunger for God's word. Did it grow cold in your life? Maybe you had a hunger for going to the streets. Did it grow cold in your life? Maybe you had a hunger for prayer. Did it grow cold in your life? Did something grow cold? And we say, man, I need to refine that. I need that spark again. I need that fire again. I want to do what God wants me to do. You know, you know it's one thing to say it, but are you going to do it? You know, we don't need talk. We do it. Right? We've all seen the videos where two people, like, they get rid of the box, the fight or whatever, right? They come, they do the press conference. Ah. There's always one who just has an ugly attitude. Ah. And the other person comes, hey, want to shake their hand? I ain't got to shake your hand. And they're screaming and yelling and acting crazy. But then they get the ring. 
Right? Then they get no ring and actually had to fight. And the one who was running them out, acting a fool, acting all crazy, makes them they're bloody on the floor. <laughs> because the other person, hey, how you get? And one person's acting all weird and wigged out and whatever. It's like, so what? Actually, I said a good one the other day, too. Arm wrestling. I don't know what they're going to watch arm wrestling. This one guy was skinny. This one guy was skinny. He saw that he was all big. Man, this big old dude lost. He was laughing at him. <laughs> Boom! He took him down like that. Because it was an art armor, and that's what it is. But the thing is, what is it for you when you want fired up again inside of your life? What is it that you maybe had a fire for that you lost somehow? Somehow it got cold. Somehow you got distracted. Somehow you got sidetracked. Somehow you lost focus. And what was fire at one time has gone cold. You have, I know I, I know what I got to refire. But what do you have to refire? Because Jesus says this at the end. He says, the increase of wickedness level most grow cold. But then he says, and he ends it in verse 13. But the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. See, that's our goal, is to get to the end. But will you stand firm to the end? Will you stand firm in the things of the Lord till the end? Oh, but man, this happened, that happened. Yeah, so? A lot of things happen to people. No, it's a fact, right? Anything bad happen to somebody this, your lifetime? <laughs> it happens. Things happen. You know, we have no control over certain things that take place within our lives. You know, we didn't expect it. We didn't see it. We didn't want it. But it happened. So what are you going to do? Quit? Throw in the towel? Give up? Or you say, no, 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 God, keep my fire burning. Amen. Keep my fire going. Let me stay on fire for God. I don't want my fire to go out because it didn't go my way. I didn't get what I want. That's something like a two-year-old. Come on now, right? You know, I didn't get this, and I didn't get blah, 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 right? Okay, you didn't go your way. Okay, you didn't get what you want. But are you going to throw in the towel? Did you forget what God has done for you? Did you forget what God has for you? And many times, we already know this. Many times our breakthroughs right around the corner, but we gave up and missed out. You ever heard about that story about the girl who swam from Catalina? I don't know if she's Catalina, Long Beach, Long Beach, Catalina. I think Catalina, Long Beach. And she was swimming, trying to break a record or something like that. I don't know what. I wouldn't swim it anyway. Anyway, she's swimming across, and fog rolled in. And so she's swimming, 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 but it got super foggy. And she's swimming, 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 right? Catalina is like 26 miles, right? She's swimming, 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 and it got so foggy, she got confused. Like, man, I quit, I give up. And you know, had the rescue boats right there, they picked her up. She was only like a mile away. But she said, they said because she couldn't see the land, they, ah, she gave up. Because she couldn't see the finish line. The finish line was there. Just because she couldn't see it. It distracted her, it discouraged her, she got, you know, whatever, and, and gave up. So she waited again until it was a sunny day, and then she succeeded. But the key is, because she couldn't see the finish line. See, sometimes we can't see what God's trying to do. So I, I give up. We don't see. Come on, I've been praying for somebody. Well, they ain't changed yet, so you stop praying. I ain't wasting my time no more. Because we can't see. What God's trying to do. Amen. Sometimes we give up. We throw on the towel. We stop. What was a fire at one time. Because, because we couldn't see it. We got cold. And we missed the mark. We missed the prize. We missed what God was doing. But the word of God says this. But the one who stands firm. The one who stands firm. One of the things I loved about the, the book, Treasure Out of Darkness, was Sister Julie said that when God said you're going to get married to Pastor Son, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. But are you willing to do it? She said, yes. 
But I'm going to know when it got hard and it got disciplined. Man, I want out. Because yeah. oh, I remember what God told me. God already told me, and I said, yes. That means I got to stay. Thank God she stayed. Amen. Thank the Lord she stayed. Amen. If she didn't stay, we wouldn't have this ministry right now. This way, Victor Alley probably would not exist. But another one's bad. I knew it was going to get hard. Like, oh, I can't see the end. Come on now. I can't see the end. I can't see where God's taking us. I can't see what God's doing. Yeah. But let me stand for him. Yeah. Let me stay for him. Amen. Let me keep my feet planted. Let Amen. me keep on track. Let me Amen. go and do what God's Amen. called me to do. But the one who stands firm to the end, like I said, are you going to get in your way every time? No. Yeah. Things always going to go your way? No. Are you going to get spent? I remember getting rebuked one time for something. I was even in the room. <laughs> and all of a sudden I walked into the room and the next time I was getting rebuked me too. Ah. I just barely walked in. Well, you should have been here earlier. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 God, Mr. Right? You know what I did? Amen? Then I get out the guys. <laughs> but, so what? Stand for him. Stand for him. Stand for him. Stand for him. Maybe your fire is down. Maybe it is going down. So real quick, I said these things. For me, how am I going to grow closer to Christ? Fast and pray, read, and pray some more. So if you go ahead and stand. One of the things I'm going to do this week, that, uh, uh, this is just open for anybody who wants to. You don't have to. No judgment, no nothing. But at 8 o'clock at night, from here to, to remember there's no service this Thursday. That's right. There's no service this Thursday. We're going to the cross Thursday. I mean, Friday. We're going to the cross Friday, so that'll be a Friday service. So there will be no service this Thursday. Just for a quick reminder, we're meeting at the cross at 6 o'clock. At the top at 6 o'clock. So we get back before dark. But from Monday to Thursday, 8 o'clock, the church will be open for prayer. You can come for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 2 hours. I'll even leave you the key if you want to stay all night in prayer. But... This Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 8 o'clock at night. You can go home, eat, shower, do whatever you want to do. Like I said, show for a half hour, 10 minutes, 5 minutes. It does, no judgment whatsoever. It ain't a fellowship. It ain't a concert. It ain't a you know, preaching. It's prayer. It's open to anybody. Whoever wants to will be here praying. I will be here praying. I'm not, I'm not asking nobody to come unless you want to. God speaking to your heart, saying, "Oh, I'm going to go and pray too." Well, then show up. If you can't make it, you don't have to call me. You don't have to say nothing. If you want to be here? Be here. If you want to go be here at night? Be here at night. I'll be here. But it's open for it's open for anybody who wants to come and pray. Like I said, I know what I want to do. I know what I need to do to get closer to God. And this week, I really want to die to myself so I can live for Christ. So it's up to anybody, it's up to whoever. Because like the Bible says, some grow cold. And I don't want to be cold. I want to see a fire for the Lord. I have a love for God, a love for people, love for souls, love for things changing. So I believe this is a great week.
Not the cup, the top, not the cup, the fellowship, all that's over there. But inside the house, inside the things, right? Prayer. 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 Amen. Come on and lift your hands to the Lord.